Stationary hauls are one of my favorite videos to film because even though you're technically not in the room with me, I can feel the excitement from a future you who is watching this because typically people who watch stationary hauls get the love and adoration for a sexy notebook or a super smooth writing pen. And I definitely have that love within me for all the stationary goodness. So I just feel like there's good energy happening right now today. I hope you're feeling it too. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell. I put out planner-based videos every single month, but now that we're heading into summer, the stationary content definitely increases, so you don't wanna miss out. About a month ago, I put in an order through Archer and Olive, and I ended up getting a full set of their acrylograph markers. These are the same markers I showed in my last stationary haul and it was in the box the subscription box i had gotten from them there was a sample of some of the acrylograph markers and it was my first time using them and i have been obsessed with those like four colors that i got four or five colors they have like a paint like quality when you use them which i really like because you don't get any of those weird blending strokes that you sometimes get from other markers it's very it's a very clean look you can use them on light paper dark paper such a variety of materials so i felt like it was about time i got a set a full set this is the 0.7 millimeter tip in the warm fall selection i haven't opened it yet so i'm very excited oh look at those stunners even though it's summer and this is a fall selection of colors i actually think there's a lot of colorings that i would use like today I, I will probably be using this in my next plan with me video this gold one is gorgeous we've got this peach one it's gonna be so fun i'm so happy i'm gonna include links to this specific set as well as links to all of the products i mentioned in today's video down in the description box below and fun fact i actually now have a coupon code with our turn olive so if you go to check out and use the promo code Caitlin's Corner, you will get 10% off a majority of the things on their site. I feel like 98% of the things on their site applies to this discount. I'm so pumped about this because you guys hear me talk about Archer and Olive all the time because I love their dotted notebooks for my bullet journal and just the brand itself is, is so fun. So it's nice that I can pass on some savings to you. The discount code isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so you can use it when you're ready to try some things out but i wanted to make sure that you were aware that discounts are available to you in addition to acrylograph set i also got a single white acrylograph marker that is the size three millimeters so this is super thick and i think this is going to be really beautiful for white decorative accents on i'm thinking craft paper but also black cardstock i think it, this will look stunning white is just always a really great one to have on hand so I, I picked this up the last thing i picked up at archer and olive is a dotted notebook which is the the notebook i use for my bullet journals what i've been using for my bullet journals lately and this is actually going to be my new bullet journal for 2021 so i'm not going to show you this yet because you'll be seeing the reveal of this in a couple weeks but it's a very summer color one that i've never had before so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to dig in i will say though the notebook that i really wanted to use for the second half of 2021 was the brown coffee cup dotted journal and it is stunning but it has been sold out so i'm gonna have to just kind of keep my eye out for when that goes back in stock because there has never been a journal that feels more like a representation of me. I love coffee, I love stationery. Combine them together, I'm sold. Many of you are aware by now that my background is Portuguese. So a few months ago when I received an email from a Portuguese stationery brand that wanted to send me some notebooks, I was so thrilled. Whenever I see anything made in Portugal or even here in Canada, I'm, I'm like, ooh, that's so fun. <laughs> and let me just tell you, when that package came, I, I was drooling. These notebooks are gorgeous. This is the first one. It is the Naked Notebook. I'm gonna have to do close-up shots because this shot right now is not doing this justice. Dotted paper, it's 90 GSM, 224 pages in an A5 size. And one of my favorite features of this notebook is the sewn spine, the exposed sewn spine. Because what it means is that when you open it up, it's truly so flat. There is no resistance to the flat open, which I feel like even notebooks that say they're a flat, fully flat open sometimes struggle a bit if they are bound on the spine because there's something kind of resisting that opening. I also really admire the fact that the paper itself in this notebook is, 
is super white. It's not too yellow toned, which I have grown to really like. It's one of the reasons why I really like the Archer and Olive notebooks as well. The cover feels incredibly soft. I love this color. Even though it is a minimal designed notebook, it's doing everything right. So it just feels like something that I'm really excited to use. I also love the name for it, Naked, because I think it's accurate. And you know what? Naked bodies are beautiful. Naked stationery is too. <laughs> Mic drop. <laughs> Whereas the other notebook felt like more of a journal notebook, this one is definitely something I could see being great for students because it has that wire bound spine that makes just no taking super easy. Again, I got it sent to me with dotted paper, which towards the end of my university life, I definitely was gravitating towards doing school notes in dotted or grid paper, especially if you take math, it's just really convenient when you have to draw charts. I had to do a lot of charts for economics. So th those classes, especially, I was loving the dotted. The color again, though, is so much fun. These two together, you're having a great, you're having a great time. They also sent me their free planner, which came in this beautiful cloth covering. I will say this was one of the stationary PR things I've gotten that felt like it used the most recycled materials for the shipping components. And I really appreciated that. It's really nice to see. This is an undated planner and I'm going to have to, again, do a close up. It's this beautiful beige that has almost almost the blanks of a calendar layout on the front and back cover. At the front of the notebook, it has blank calendars. Then in the middle, it has blank weekly spreads with space to write down to-do lists for the day, a little dotted area where you can make quick notes, some weekly reminders on the side. And like the first notebook, it also has that exposed spine. So it opens flat no matter where you are. In the in the notebook even though i'm someone who has been bullet journaling for years i definitely know that bullet journaling isn't always the right move for everyone but this is like a really great way to have some structure that's already done up for you but you get to customize with different colored pens or even stickers washi tape that you use and you also don't have to worry about like missing uh, a day or a week or a month because it's undated so you can use this for years. Needless to say, I'm a big fan of what I've seen from Mishmash so far. I'm going to be keeping my eyes on what other things they come out with because this is just a really, I love just the, the feeling that I'm, that I get when I look at these. This is another package that was sent to me that I have been waiting quite a while to open for the first time on camera. It is the Row Write 2 Smart Writing Notebook. The Smart Writing Notebook for your notes and ideas in the digital age. Simultaneously capture notes, ideas, and drawings digitally. Organize, search, and share work on the Row Write app. Convert handwritten notes to edit editable digital text. Edit, convert, and share work as text, PDF, MP4, and JPEG via the app. Oh, hey -o. Ooh. Whoa, the pen just magnetizes right there and it has to charge. This PR package was sent to me so long ago. Definitely, I think, January, February. Uh, but I have to make note of it here because uh, Lavender was actually really kind enough to send me not only stuff from her new loungewear, but uh, notebooks from her her stationery line and her stationery is so beautiful and so well thought out that I need to give it attention here. The first one are these pastel dotted journals, dotted notebooks. She sent me four of them, but I gave two away to friends. So I now have the pink and the yellow. I really love how thin they are. They just are like the, the notebook that I could picture you just slipping into a work bag or a backpack if you need to run to a meeting or something. And like, if you're gonna do meeting notes, I feel like this is the way to do it. <laughs> the dots are spaced out a bit larger. So it's not something I would use necessarily for bullet journaling, but I think this would be great for, yeah, note taking because when you are note taking, you're usually trying to do it quickly. And at least for me, when I'm quickly doing notes, my handwriting isn't so good. So having more space kind of makes things a little bit more forgiving. In addition to those, I was also sent the Artist of Life workbook for 2021. I'm really vibing with the yellow lately. Something's happening to me. <laughs> I'm clicking with it. And this notebook is basically designed to help you with your goal setting throughout the year. Each month, there's different prompts to fill in related to habits and goals and projects and gratitude. These are definitely themes that I'm passionate about talking about on my channel and Lavender does such a great job of 
also bringing to light these topics on hers. So this just makes so much sense for her to have. And I was also sent the Create Today notebook, kind of the same vibe look as the Artist of Life. But this one is a daily planner. So each day you fill in the date, you fill in how you're feeling, today's focus, the most important tasks, your to-do list, your self-care list, what you're grateful for, today's wins, notes. There's a different quote on the top of each page. And again, I feel like if you're someone who likes the idea of planning, but gets stressed out about maintaining your planner, sticking to your planner, or not having time to create your own spreads like I do in a bullet journal, something like this is great. Undated, you have flexibility with it, no guilt, just pros. I don't know if I've mentioned this particular thing item that I got last summer on the channel, but I wanna bring attention to it because it's one of my favorites. It is a paper trimmer and this is from Fiskars. Now this paper trimmer is great. I do a lot of pasting in things like craft paper and, and images into my bullet journal. And this tool comes so in handy for doing a lot of cuts quickly and a lot of straight cuts quickly. This particular one has a ruler that pops out. So if you're cutting large paper, it's not a big deal. And I like how like much surface area there is to measure things. It's got rubber feet, so it doesn't move on the table when you're cutting. And you know what? It comes in handy at the most uh, unusual times. I will say that. Speaking of paper cutting, I also have a new cutting machine. This one is the Explore Air 2 by Cricut. I've been working with Cricut a bit on the channel and uh, they sent this over to me as well as their Easy Press 2. This video isn't sponsored by them, but I wanted to make mention of it because I think uh, based on my experience using this, I feel like if you are someone who isn't super comfortable with uh, really intense computer programs, like you're not someone who really loves using Photoshop or Lightroom, you like simplicity, you want to be kind of like guided through the process from start to finish. Cricut is a very user-friendly cutting machine to use. Their design software, Cricut Design Space, is really simple as well. And I've been using it recently to cut things for my bullet journal. I did these craft paper swirl accents with this and the process was really easy and obviously you can cut like so many different materials with this so it can go beyond just stationary application but uh yeah i just wanted to bring attention to it because i do think user friendly wise it's probably like the most simple one to get the hang of i also am obsessed with this color i just think it's a nice little pop especially in the background there look at it she's glowing i'm really curious to know what kind of stationary focus video would you be really excited to see i've been playing around with the idea of like doing a video maybe all about like my favorite black pens or my stationary on the go essentials just some initial ideas but i'd love to hear any that are popping out to you in the comment section down below i had a blast with this one i really hope you did too if you did enjoy it give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe notification bell go check out that description box too because i have links there the the coupon code for archer and olive a link to sign up for my weekly newsletter that i send out every monday morning to deliver a dosage of Monday motivation into your inbox. And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna go head out, peace out. This was nice. I hope you had a great time. I had the best time. And now I have stationery around me that I gotta go clean up. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do that. I'll see you guys next week.